Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna talk about different methods and techniques that will have the potential to go viral on TikTok for photography. So you might be watching this video if you're a photographer that's considered using TikTok, but you're not entirely sure where to start. Or maybe you have been using TikTok as a photographer, but you haven't had any real success with it yet. In this video, I seek advice from fellow photographer Oscar, also known as the visual life on TikTok and Instagram. He's grown a massive following in such a short space of time. So he's gonna be sharing his tips and tricks on how he makes photography content for TikTok and gets up to millions of views for it. I made a video pretty much exactly a year ago sharing my personal experience with photography and TikTok and how I managed to gain around 40,000 followers in just a few months. Nothing insane, but still something quite reasonable to say that TikTok's fairly new as a platform. I've been using Instagram for five years and I've only got 6,000 followers. I've been using TikTok for a year and I've nearly got 50,000 followers. So point being, if you wanna see the video I made about a year ago, the tips and tricks in that video are still valuable and still valid to this date. So this is pretty much a sequel to that first video I made. And if you haven't seen that first video, a link will pop up and go check that out. Before we get too detailed, let's break down the structure of a TikTok photography video so you know exactly where we need to start. Step one is to film a behind the scenes clip. Showcase the location, showcase what camera you're using, showcase what What's going on in general get a friend to film you or you can film yourself just show what's about to happen before we reveal the final photo and then step two is revealing that final photo you want to transition from the behind the scenes clip into the final photo and then your job as a photographer as a creator is to weave a story into that so people stick around and people watch the TikTok and they don't just keep scrolling now you know what a basic photography TikTok looks like. You've got the behind the scenes clip, then you've got a transition into the final photo. Sounds really simple. Let's jump into London and speak with the visual life, Oscar, and see what he has to say. First of all, if you're a photographer and you use Instagram, you should be using TikTok if yeah. you want to increase your reach. That's actually how we met through TikTok. I was just thinking that, yeah, I think I, did I send you a little flirty DM or did you send me a message? I don't remember, but this guy popped up on my For You page and I was like, I don't recognize this guy. Yeah, yeah. We wouldn't be here today if uh, neither of us had, had TikTok. I would definitely say music choice is really key. Choosing trending songs can actually be quite pivotal because TikTok are more likely to push those videos with the trending songs. Yeah, um, as much as TikTok is a video social media platform I think it's like 50% if not 60% catered towards music that's yeah. the whole point yeah, yeah, of the yeah. app you yeah. want to be using songs that are popping off they're trending for a reason so. yeah exactly that choosing songs with like quite a good drop I find is very useful a lot of the time I kind of align the main crux of the TikTok with the drop of the song as it kind of makes it so much more impactful you've literally got three to five seconds of someone's attention I exactly. mean and if they can't hear that the music's building up to something they've got no reason to wait around so you're actually using the song not only as a hook, but for a reason for them to keep watching and yeah. actually wait to see the photos that you're about to show them. Yeah, well he said this or that, he nailed that. Ironically, filming a video about TikTok and what's on the billboard in Piccadilly Circus. Big fat TikTok adverts. Here's some clips of me skating around, doing some kick clips and stuff. Oscar was taking photos, which turned out to be savage. I put them on screen now. We then combine those photos with this behind the scenes footage you're watching to create some TikTok content. To see some real examples of all this, check out my TikTok and Oscar's TikTok. I'll put it on screen now so you can kind of see the videos that we made from this trip into London. crazy opportunity. I have never been to Tower Bridge and it's been dead. There's a couple of construction workers over there. This is sick. Oh, that's gonna look so Woo! good. trying to be so specific with this shot. Like he moves a little bit to the left, like no, no, we need to redo it. Or I push a little bit weird, I'm like, oh, I need to redo that. Or do I put my hands in my head? Do I not put my hands in the air? We're just being, we're trying to get it perfect, I think, because having an opportunity of Tower Bridge being so empty, it's just, we're never going to get this again. Mm. So. One in a million chance. We'll get it, we'll get it. Cool. What I've kind of found using TikTok is that creating some sort of narrative or journey, sort of like from A to B in terms of how you started off and then where you, 
ended up. What I do with some of my videos and what Mike's done is that we kind of show the whole process of us taking a photo, yeah. potentially from setting up, taking them on the journey to get to the location, yeah. and then presenting the final image at the end. It's kind of a good way of hooking users on and keeping them gripped from the beginning to the end. And I was gonna say, the story doesn't need to be Harry Potter. It doesn't need to be complicated at all. It can literally just be, for example, a really recent TikTok I did. I think the caption was something like, I used the reflection on my phone to take the second image. And then people have to wait for the second image to see what that reflection was. So it's like, like you said, I'm taking them on that journey. Like this is how I took this photo. And then they can see it themselves. Yeah. Only in what, five to 10 seconds? It's simple to do, but a story is probably, yeah, like you yeah. said, it's important. And it kind of, if you create a story, it kind of gives the viewer a reason to keep watching because they will want to see kind of what, you yeah, know, yeah. what's going to happen. What's the end photo going to look like? Exactly. So explain, tell me what the point of this 12 foot boom poll is um, and what content you're making well essentially I saw a video on TikTok uh, it's by Tom Jauncey, so shout out to him. But basically, he literally attached a phone to a massive, I think it was like a massive monopod. Um, so I've managed to get hold of this boom pole and it goes to like 20 foot. So what we're gonna, what we're thinking of is we're gonna get Mike's gimbal and we're gonna stick it on the end of this and then we're gonna have a phone in it and we're literally just gonna stick it up so high and uh, we're gonna get like a drone-like perspective on Tower Bridge, which obviously you can't do with an actual drone, but yeah. The shot's gonna look sick. That's why you see me pushing up and down on the skateboard in Piccadilly Circus, trying to get the take. You'll see what it looks like on Oscar's TikTok account. So if you wanna see that, who, do you think you'll upload the TikTok video before I upload the YouTube video? Yeah. All right, <laughs> All so, right, so it'll be on his TikTok. I'll put it on screen now. Go check it out. This hopefully has come out like you thought it would. <laughs> yeah, sweet. One of the first things Oscar mentioned was about using trending music, and I couldn't agree more with this. Like we mentioned early on in the video, not only will using trending music be favorable for the TikTok algorithm, but if people are enjoying it, if it's a, if it's a song that's popping off at that time, then there's no reason not to use it. It's trending for a reason, like we mentioned. Using a song that has a drop is also really important. Timing the behind the scenes clip and then the transition into the final images with the beat of the drop can just amplify a story, create a bit of a mood, and also keeps you viewers watching and keeps them engaged. And then one of the final things Oscar mentioned was about taking your viewers on a journey. Create a story. Like I said, it doesn't have to be Harry Potter. It doesn't have to be complicated. It can be simple. Just showcase how you go about taking a photo. Take your viewers through a journey. And that's the job of the creative. That's the job of the photographer to weave a story into that. If you're looking for inspiration for TikTok content related ideas, follow Oscar on TikTok and follow myself on TikTok. We post quite regularly, so feel free to just steal some ideas and get creative yourself. If you like this video and you want to support the channel then go ahead and check out my presets on my website a link will be in the description for you to check out my 10 minimal and moody presets available for lightroom mobile and desktop that would be appreciated that's pretty much it for me check out oscar on instagram and tiktok check out my website for the presets hit subscribe leave a comment down below and i'll see you very soon peace out hey it's a track and that's so decent it's quality in it <laughs> look at my eyes look how red i am all right sick i, I Prang out about that falling off me. The Joby. The whole, the whole thing. Yeah, this is a bit of a sketchy setup. Focus. We're in London, Piccadilly Circus, and with Oscar, aka Yo. The Visuals Life. Oh, is it? What yeah. did I call it? Visuals Life. Oh, The Visual Life. Yeah. This guy doesn't even know. Shh. Cut. Cool.